Hey everybody, well I'm just going to do a little collage cover video and this one is for my faith journal that I use every day and I've completed my second pray the scripture insert and this is the third and I, I need to get it ready because the other's pretty much done. But what I want to do I just go into my magazine. Here's my magazine collection. And uh, right now I've got a lot of fall things sitting here because fall is now over and I probably should just grab it, some of it, and put it put it underneath the bottom. Okay, and I think I've removed all my Christmas. So really what I want to do is just find some things to collage, like this. I like that. I like the stones. Looking just this, just looking for some like calming things I can use that I would like to put on it. And I think I'm kind of tending toward a pinky and a reddish tones from what I can tell. Uh, this. Okay, I don't need a ton. I just needed a few. And so this is what I've chosen. It's snowing like crazy out. My dough is raising. Um... For the breads, I have three loaves, and I have four thumbprint cookie dough variations that are in the resting in the fridge. And now I realize I need to stop this and go put the dough in a warm place. So hang on. Okay, my husband is making rosettes right now, and I'm sure in an hour or two, when the snow really piles up, he's going to have to get up to work and clear snow because they have a Christmas concert tonight. All right, so I have my pieces, and really the, the way I do this is basically I just flatten and I just glue <laughs> pieces on with a glue stick because I'm covering this with paper <coughs> just with some, uh, not paper, tape. I'm covering it with packing tape, so... It's not vital, like how much it needs to be on. And really, um, I'm just gonna do both sides. It's a very fast process. So I just put this in the middle. Okay. And then I'm gonna be doing some things over this. Like, I want this chair. So I'm going to just go like that. I just want to get enough of a sticking down that it'll stay. Okay. There. I really like these. I don't need them all though. I only need some of them. So I'm going to put this up here and just kind of rip off that little bit. Throw out the pieces I don't want. Um, I want a little bit of this. I just, this feels so calming. I really, really like it. But I don't need the whole thing. So I'm gonna go like that. Okay. Um, I just need a tiny bit of this right here so we're just gonna put that little bit there and then I'm gonna put some over here well kind of go like this there we go and let's put a piece of it down here too I just like I like it it's just 
nice calm little piece. And then we just have a small piece right here. I just need to fill in a little bit. I just want this. I'm just covering up, adding some little pieces of these for some interest. And I'm gonna just keep doing that. Just kind of sticking them down wherever. They're gonna be kind of my little unifying piece. <laughs> there. And let's just go up here more. Okay, I think that's really all I need to do. Like I said, it's just like the super fast one of the fastest things you can do. And it doesn't matter that it's sticky because I'm going to be covering it up. And I need to, what I need to do now is just go like this. Okay. And I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to come inside here and we're going to just trim off these edges. that. And like that. So it's really easy. I like to make with my traveler's notebooks that I use for journaling in where, you know, it's just something I'm writing and I, so I want, I want the cover to just be calm. It doesn't need to be super fancy. It just needs to kind of give a feel of what I'm going after and be colors that I like and colors that go together because that's kind of how I like to do it. And then um, I put on what it is, the title with some stickers, alpha stickers, and then that's really all I do. And then cover it with packing tape and stick it in my insert or in my traveler's notebook. Yeah, since I do use this every day and one lasts me, oh, how long did this one last? It lasted from the end of March till the end of November. Eight months, roughly eight months. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good, huh? I just got this insert at Michael's. I just needed something that had a graph so I could write, um, and I didn't have any on hand, so I'm like, eh, I'll just, I'll just get, get one quick. I'm gonna clean this off. This glass thing can tend to get sticky, but it would be my desk if it wasn't this. So we're just gonna make sure it's all clean. I figured I might as well do some taping and stuff now because I'll be doing cookies later. Okay, so let's do this. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and come right here and do this part. Here we go. Just kind of get that that done, and then I can come in here and kind of knock off a little bit of this. Okay, good. Now we can do the rest because now I got that done. So yeah, it just, it's pretty simple. I just take a strip. Um, it's longer than what I have so that I can just fold it over. So super easy. Actually, this one I want here because I'm going to, so we'll just do it this way. You bring this up, this up. This does not have to be anything neat because I'm not going for <laughs> show in any way. I'm just 
getting it covered. That's really all I'm doing. So that one went there, so that's actually pretty perfect. And yeah, the, it gets a little bit of <laughs> stuff, you know, wrinkles. But this, like I said, this is just simple for me to write it down. It isn't necessarily even anything I'm going to keep, but I just like to write it down. And let's do this. And we'll do this one. And then we'll do whoop, a little bit too much tape. But this one, I think. Yeah, and then let's do one that's as close to the size as I can get it. Okay, lift that up. This one's going to go in first. And then we'll do this one, and this one, and these two. Okay, so now, all done. And all I have left now is I just have to do um, my words. So I just have a simple, these stickers, and I just, uh, this is how I do I put them on, this is how I do this. And somehow I've got, what is this one? A Q. I don't need a Q, do I? Okay, so P, R, A, Y. Come on, Y. G, and then I want the word the. Oh, come on. T. So I got an H there. I mean a U, an H. I wish I had an H. <laughs> come on, you. The U. Nope. It's not going to come off. Fine. We'll do that again. T H E and then word W O R D and then this is volume three so I want V O L and three. Oops, I got two threes. So I'm going to need one. Okay. So super easy. Super easy. Fast way to do covers. Oh my gosh, the snow is already piling up because it is just crazy okay so all i have to do here is put this paper away so i just start putting this down where i think it's going to show and i think it's going to have to be up here on the white so and i don't worry about it being straight i'm not doing this to sale i'm not going to be looking at it for the rest of my life <laughs> it's just where I like to write down scriptures, um, a scripture every day from my reading, and then it's a scripture you can pray, which I like. So that's what I do. Praying the oops, probably would help if I get this one. Correct. Praying the O R D 
E. And then volume, bring that down a little bit here. Oh. L. Three. Okay, and then I'm just, just to make sure it stays and doesn't like move and I lose some of these, I'm just going to put another piece over here. And really that's all. And now I have my insert already and I really like the colors. Okay, so like this, like I said, this is kind of a day of I'm cooking and I'm trying to get some projects or things done while I'm doing my, this. And I have my big Christmas card project. So I thought, you know what, I'll just um, go ahead and start this project because that's a big one I have to work on. Put a few things out of my way. I have some addresses and what's in here? Oh, this was a sample I sent with my husband for one of the cards and that's going to actually go into my <coughs> book. But here's the um, envelopes, and he got me 10 sets of envelopes, and I'll be saving the cards. I can use those for junk journals, um, so th that's perfect. Um, but shiny envelopes, we got 30 of those and 10 plain ones. So, And this is the words that are going to be in the middle. It's just a blank piece of paper. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the cards, there's two different designs, and I'm going to just use a glue stick and put them on the back of this. So I've got this whole big cutting project ahead of me, and I thought, well, you know, I might as well just sit here and cut. So here I have my originals right here. These are the originals that I made. As you see, it's an alcohol-based marker, so it goes through the back. Um, but I want to keep those. Since just keep those separate and put them away somewhere. For now I guess I'll put them in here with my other stuff I've worked on. And work at cutting and so I figure um, I have to make it fit I have to cut it I'm gonna mark this so I know where so let's find a piece of this is a good video for you guys to just like craft along with it's gonna be one of my ramblers again but you know you can craft along whilst I ramble. So I think, yeah, right there. So that's the short. And then the long is going to be right there. So that it fits nicely in a five by seven envelope without any struggle because I can't have it struggling and then there should be plenty of room for yeah and plenty of room for the word so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, start trimming and this is probably the better side to trim and then we are gonna go right here. And this one is fine. I had already done some cutting on this one, so this one's good. Anyway, so what are you guys doing? Any um, prep for Christmas? I did this wrong. This one's going in my journal. 
can actually, now that I've cut it that skinny, it's actually going to fit in my journal. So that's probably good. Okay. All right, see, so now I have to pay attention. I have to be sure and cut this edge first on both of them. Okay. And then if I need to do any other cutting, I can. And this one, because I had to be careful to keep this just right. But anyway, it's December 1st, so of course, um, I'm sure we all have Christmas on our brains and all the work. Um, see, I still got this one too. I'm just going to have to work on my cutting, I think, to do this correctly. Um, anyway, there's always cookie baking, and Christmas decorating, and um, all kinds of stuff like that. These, you know, this one is just going to be, the snowman's going to be skinnier. So our house is all decorated, so we don't have to do that. Um, I got my Christmas cards designed, and now I'm putting them together, and then I'll be, like, I'll be addressing them when I'm watching TV and stuff, so I can get this all ready. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing. And baking, I, I bake one batch of the Christmas bread every week, so I have two more weekends um, that I'm going to be baking. So the 8th is one, and then the 15th. Well, no, yeah, I should be able to do it on the Sunday or something. Anyway, and then I'll be done with the Christmas bread. But super easy because I'm just doing a batch at a time. I used to do a bunch at a time and it was so much work. And the bread didn't turn out. It's good. But doing it smaller batches like this, the bread turns out like so much better. I have a ton of snowmen. The other design, why don't I show you? My other design is this. I should see how this one cuts. Yeah, I really, if I just follow this pattern, I guess I don't really have to worry about the length so much. Yeah, it looks like I can just follow the pattern and I don't even need those markers at all. So here's this one. Super cute. I like this one a lot. And it's got Christmas songs written around the edges. Um, Chris, Christian ones, of course. Like religious ones. You know, like Silent Night and I'll Come Away Faithful and Hark the Herald Angels Sing and A Little Town of Bethlehem. All those type of things are so much fun. And I've got a pile of Christmas movies that I own that I'm working on getting um, watched. I haven't started them yet, but now that it's December, I'm going to start those. And I have two more on Netflix to watch, and one I'm watching with Sadie because it's a child's, it's a child's one. But I have to watch when my husband is, if I have the cookies done, while my husband's up clearing snow, I'll probably watch White Christmas, like, because he's not into musicals at all. Not even a little bit. We are going to get a lot of snow out of this. It is going to be heavy and wet and not fun. 
but it's beautiful to watch. Only because it's a weekend. I don't have to drive in it. It's a Saturday. I'm home. I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> so it's okay. Because, oh, I hate driving in, like, fresh snowstorm. Because it just freaks me out. The roads aren't clean and clear. I just don't like it. Oh, my gosh. Just never was a big driving person, I guess. You know, just not. All right. Okay. It'll be fun to get the Christmas cards going. I really do like sending them out. You know, we used to send out Christmas cards, aren't like a lot of people have quit sending out cards and, um, But it still do, still do. But man, the the amount I receive, so much less. We used to send out, oh man, close to two hundred way back in the day. Now we don't, of course. But um, we cut down a little every year. So I'm sending out about forty max. I about forty, I think. Um, the ones I'm mailing are even less than that because I have some that I just, you know, give. I don't have to mail them. So, yeah. Things, times change, that's for sure. I figure by the time I get these cut up, or probably by the time I quit recording, um, it'll be time for me to turn the oven on to bake the bread. Let's see, as far as other videos I want to do, I would like to, of course, do December 1st. I have a bunch of stuff to put in. Um, of course, I'm going to be putting together, you know, those, the winter nature ones. So there's, I could always work on that as well. Plenty of things. Plenty of things to work on. Okay. That's for sure. But, um, I suppose I'll just talk till I run out of things to say or the camera quotes, you know, whatever. I cannot believe that snow out there. I just keep looking at it and, like, my goodness. My goodness. So do you go to any Christmas, like, plays or concerts? We do. The only one we go to is... Uh, the one we do at my husband's work, which we did last night, uh, just amazing and beautiful. It's at a university, so it's all the student choirs and the Handel Choir and the orchestra. And uh, it's in their great hall, and it's just so amazing. It was just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful songs. And that's really the only one we go to. We go to Christmas Eve service. Um, there's like four times on Christmas Eve at our church, and so we're going to the 11 o'clock one on Christmas Eve. And then um, there's also, what else do we do? Oh yeah, so that's what we do on Christmas Eve, because um, we do our Christmas with in, on Christmas morning always with our kids. On Christmas Eve, we are our grown kids, okay. <laughs> my granddaughter. But Christmas Eve, we do the, sir, you know, we go to Christmas Eve service, and then in the evening, um, we pick up uh, my best friend, and we pick her up after her Christmas Eve service. So that's around 5:30, 6 o'clock. And then we go look at Christmas lights. So we look at Christmas lights first in the area of where the church is. And because there's like three where they have a radio station. You tune into a radio station and the music plays. And it's like a light show on their house and yard. It's very cool. And then we come back up to our neighborhood. And we go to Perkins for 
appetizers and pie. And then we go um, in a neighborhood near us, the, they do luminaries throughout several blocks. And it's just beautiful and it's only on Christmas Eve and we just love watching it. So, you know, driving through it and enjoying it. It's just peaceful and pretty. So we do that and then we take our friend back to church for her vehicle and we come back home. And that's how we spend our Christmas Eve. And then Christmas morning, we sleep, everybody sleeps in. And then we gather the gifts that we bought. And we only exchange with our daughter and her family and our son and my husband and I. We don't do any other gifts. So we take our gifts and the stockings, because I fill the stockings, and we take those over to um, their house. Oh, like, you know, 10.30, 11 o'clock. We don't make it super early. And then we just um, unwrap presents together and we have a meal. And then we play games or if we got things to put together or crafty things to do, like we'll do that. You know, just different stuff. It's a lot of fun. And it's just a pleasant, calm Christmas day. And we stay over there for quite a while. And then later on in the day, we go home and that's kind of how it is. And... It's just relaxing, and the next day after that will be work. <laughs> and then um, New Year's Eve, we don't really do anything. We used to get together with friends and do stuff on New Year's Eve, but now we don't. So what we do is um, my daughter and her husband usually go to friends' houses for a, like a party. So we we take Sadie overnight and. That's how we spend New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, sometimes I'm taking down the Christmas decorations. Sometimes I'm not. I'm just relaxing. So it's not like, you know, it's not crazy. And it's going to be nice to have all that time because I'll do, of course, my craft room stuff. It's just nice because I don't, I have nothing I have to do. I can just do my own journaling and work on some journals if I want. Because I, like I said, I want to do two winter nature journals and I have to do, I'm doing a journal for my sister for her birthday. And I go see her in February and that's going to be different because that's, brighter colors. Um, there'll be some nature in it, I think, but not crazy. It's just going to be a simpler journal for, journal for her, and I'm not going to have a ton of pockets and stuff. It's going to be spaces for writing and not go too crazy because she's not a journaler. So I just want to make it something, you know, she could use or put pictures in or maybe she can use it for planning her garden or um, house stuff or just, you know, whatever. Maybe putting pictures in. I figure she could just, whatever she fancies doing, she can do with it. So I'm not going to make it super thick and fat. Um, it's not going to be super chunky either and I got to get a cover that's like the color she likes too so yeah it's, it's gonna be you know different and pretty stress-free I think and, and enjoyable Whew, this is going crazy get these done so I don't have to worry about them just a lot of extra work and I got to do my cookies as soon as my husband gets done making those rosettes then I will move into the kitchen and start making thumbprint cookies so I've got four kinds of thumbprint cookies the first one is a regular dough and let me think what goes in the middle you put a candy cherry in the middle 
Well, first you roll the dough into a ball and you roll it in red sugar, red, red sprinkles, sugar, whatever you want to call it. And then, oh, you are totally crooked. And then you, um, where's the crooked? Something's not right. It's kind of bugging me. Hmm. Anyway, you do that and then um, you flatten it down in the middle with like your finger and then you put the cherry in there and so that's one. That's why it's a thumper cookie. You, you make a ball and you, oops, push it in the middle and then you put something in the middle. The other batter is an almond batter and what you do is um, for that one is you put red, um, not red, what am I putting in the middle of that one? I have to think. Oh, you put red, seedless raspberry jam in that one. So that's how that one works. And then, um, ouch, ouch. And then uh, there's a chocolate one, and what you do for that one is you crush up red peppermint candy, the red and white, and you put that in the middle of that one. And then the last one is a gingerbread recipe, and you get a can of like dulce de leche or caramel, and I got dulce de leche, and um, you put that in the middle, and then you bake them, and that makes the cookies. And because I'm doing a cookie exchange next Saturday, so I have to bring. There's going to be eight of us, and you bring a dozen cookies for each person that's there, and then everybody brings each other a dozen cookies. So you come away with you have like seven dozen, eight dozen cookies or whatever for Christmas. So it's going to be really nice. Um. I've never done one of those cookie exchanges before. Have any of you ever done that? And and do you like to make Christmas cookies? And what Christmas cookies do you like to make? I used to make scads of Christmas cookies. And the last few years I've just done cutout ones, like sugar cookies, and I've done gingerbread cookies. Um, but I used to do it all kinds. And now I just do Something simple, one kind. This is thumbprint, but four variations. But I just try to keep it simple. For one thing, we don't need that many cookies in our lives. <laughs> we might think we do. So my favorite Christmas cookie is probably the gingerbread cutout cookies. I like those, especially if they're frosted. So I would say that's my favorite. Of, of Chris, for a Christmas cookie. And I like sugar cookies too. Um, as far as I'm trying to think, oh, and the rosettes that my husband makes, I love those. Those are so good. That's kind of a Scandinavian thing, I guess. But his mom always made them, so he makes them probably look and see what time it is. I could just be doing this forever, right? <laughs> forever. And I don't know how long I'm sitting here, and I know that the bread dough only needs an hour to rise, and then I gotta get that oven on and get them in the oven. Okay, so the snowmen are cut out, so now I just have to do, I don't have as many of the poinsettia. <coughs> So I still have time. So I just am going to thankfully I got a new trimmer blade or blades for this trimmer because um, they can get dull pretty fast just because I just I use them so much that. 
and I can really tell because it starts cutting rough when it starts getting dull and it's like you're fighting with it and you can get a pack of two blades for about seven dollars so I always try to get a 40 or 50 cent you know percent off coupon instead of buying I don't buy them full price I don't need to you can get them on sale you know at Michael's quite easily enough so that's what I do well not on sale but using a discount because they're never on sale <laughs> ever at least not that I've seen and even if they were it wouldn't be as good as 50% off so I'm gonna take my 50% off I have to get one of these set aside for my block. Cutting, cutting, cutting. Yeah, and as far as other Christmas treats that we do, um, I, you, know, you know I do the Christmas bread. Um, my husband will make cranberry bread because that's something his mom always made, and he likes that, so usually... He'll do cranberry bread. And that's about it. And then Christmas Day, I don't know what we're actually going to do for the meal. We don't worry. I used to do like the whole turkey thing, like Thanksgiving, because that's what my mom did. But um, I have gotten away from doing that. Uh, we just do something else. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do because it's going to be at my daughter's house. So whatever they want to do and then they can ask us to bring it. The only other Christmas celebrating we do is we do a big get together with my husband's dad and wife and mom and her husband and this year both together and um, his brother and family, their family, you know, the kids and our family. So we can be about 14 around 14 people I think and we get together uh, before Christmas and have a big party we each bring certain things I bring cream of wild rice soup um, Doug's brother their family does Swedish potato sausage and Swedish um, meatballs his dad does oyster stew we all bring some salad and desserts and we, then we do the dice game. So that's how we do that. And we take turns hosting it between his brother and, and us. So this year it's going to be at their house. And since our kids can't come in December, we're going to be doing it in January, which will be a total switch for us. And then we go to my dad's with whoever is around of the kids comes. Usually it's just my brother and his wife and one of his kids and their family and us and my daughter and her family that actually go. So um, this year, none of my brother's family is around. They're all everywhere else and moved. And so it's just going to be my husband and I and my daughter and her family and my dad. And they're going to make chili. So we just make stuff to go with it, like my dessert and things that can go with chili. So... It's pretty laid back. <laughs> and we just visit. Sometimes we play Christmas, you know, do Christmas music. But, yeah, we don't do a lot. This is kind of very chilled. Very chilled. And we're doing that next Saturday. Not next Saturday. The 15th. So, yeah, I feel like the Christmas celebrating is a little bit more low-key this year. Which is okay. Um... Gift shopping, like I said, we only have to do, we only do very few gifts, so I've already got my daughters, I've got my son-in-laws, I have to get Sadie's, which I'll do some of that tomorrow, um, I got stocking gift from my granddaughter, and I have to get my husband's gift, but other than that, pretty good. Okay, so the cards are cut out, and we got all this nice thick paper. So now um, I have to cut off these. Do this. And I want to leave a little bit 
smooth an edge. Let's see if I can do that. If I can, if it'll work, I would like to leave a little bit of the black showing. And it, hmm. These should be perfectly lined up, but they don't appear to be for some reason. So I guess it probably makes sense to cut these apart. I want to get one cut so I can see if it is the way that I want, if it'll fit the card. That's what I need to know. Is it going to fit the card? Okay, so if it's going on the back of the card, yeah, and it's just going to go right here. I'm just going to glue it on the back. And I might glue it over here so I could write, but no, I'm just going to glue it here. And that's all I'm going to do. So it's simple, right? Not hard at all. i got to keep one of those. Oh, and I was going to keep one of these for my book. And I think I better make it a little skinny because it might not fit very well. Okay, that's ready to go. Yeah, so this is a little bit more fussy, I suppose, in a way. But it's nice getting the Christmas stuff done. This was my, I was kind of trying to get two to a page, which is why it's not even, even, because I was having trouble with the, getting the computer to cooperate and put two on one sheet. So, I'm like, okay, just gonna, just gonna do it this way and not worry about it, right? But I have two on all the others. These were just the the first ones for making it work correctly. Okay, so yeah, I think that's all my Christmas tradition stuff. You know, what we're doing in December. And I have to watch my Christmas movies. I talked about that, didn't I? But I didn't tell you about Christmas movies I have. Um, I have several. I probably have. 12 Christmas movies or 15. Now Christmas morning, we always, always, always watch The Christmas Story. Well, not always. We started that tradition a few years ago, but now it's like totally a tradition. And I love it. I love that movie so much. So we watch that. But all the other days, I just, leading up to Christmas, I start watching my Christmas movies. And I have Miracle on 34th Street, the old one. I don't think I have a new one. Um, I have It's a Wonderful Life. I have The Grinch, the cartoon, and the movie. I have The Charlie Brown Christmas. I have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which I absolutely love. It's probably my, my favorite animated is Rudolph. And um, I have... Think. Christmas with the Cranks, uh, the original Home Alone. Love that movie. That's like one of my faves. Um, Elf. I got that last year. My boss gave that to me because she knew I wanted it, which was really nice of her. Um, I have The Holiday. <laughs> Is that what that one's called? Yeah, I think it's called Holiday. Whoops. Hope that wasn't too close. That was a little close. That one's gonna go up in my, I didn't know I grabbed two. That one's gonna go in my book, my journal, since I wasn't paying attention and totally messed that up. That one can go here. All right. Yeah, so those are some of the movies I watch. I feel like there's some more, but I just, like, because I can't see them in front of me. Well, there's, um, 
What's that one? Ernest Saves Christmas. Have you guys ever seen the Ernest movies? Um, they're kind of stupid, but I don't know. I just like to watch them anyway. <laughs> and we used to have the Santa Claus movie with Tim. Um, Tim. What's his name? He's in so many movies. Anyway, we used to have it with him. And because it was a VHS, we couldn't, you know, now we don't have that anymore. So we got rid of it. And the same with the Muppet Christmas. We had it when it was VHS. So, yeah, don't have that. Um, I'm see, trying to think if there were any more. If that's um, pretty much it for... I know there's more. I know I have more Christmas movies. And then, of course, I go on Netflix and I watch a bunch of their, they're almost like Lifetime, Hallmark, Mushy movies. I watch those as well. And, of course, White Christmas, which I've already mentioned more than once. Can't wait to see that. All right, I think I should go check my bread pretty quick here. And I probably rambled on plenty and probably as much as I can because I don't think I can think of anything else to ramble on about so that means it's probably a good stopping point for this so thanks for you know joining me and I hope you got a little crafting done while you were listening to me ramble on and looking at the various things I've been working on and um, I hope you're having a great day. Talk to you later.